ഓം നമോ ഭഗവതേ വാസുദേവായ ഓം നമോ ഭഗവതേ വാസുദേവായ ഓം നമോ ഭഗവതേ വാസുദേവായ ഓം ആജ്ഞാനതിമിരാന്തസ്യാനഞ്ജനാചലാകയ ചക്ഷുരൂന്മീലിതമ്യേന തസ്മൈ ശ്രീ ഗുരവേ നമഃ ശ്രീ ചൈതന്യ മനോഭീസ്തം സ്ഥാപിതം യേന ഭൂതലെ സ്വയം രൂപ കഥാമഹ്യം ദരാതി സ്വാപരാന്തികം വന്ദേഹം ശ്രീഗുരു ശ്രീയുതപതകമലം ശ്രീഗുരൂൺ വൈഷ്ണവംശ ശ്രീരൂപം സാഗൃജാതം സഹഗണരഗുണാതാൻവിതം തം സജീവം സാദ്വൈതം സാവദൂതം പരിജന സഹിതം കൃഷ്ണ ചൈതന്യദേവം ശ്രീരാധാകൃഷ്ണപാദാൻ സഹഗണലിത ശ്രീ വിശാഖാൻവിതം ഏ കൃഷ്ണ കരുണാ സിന്ധോ ദീനബന്ധോ ജഗത്പതെ ഗോപേശ ഗോപികാ കാന്ത രാധാകാന്ത നമോസ്തു തേ തപ്ത കാഞ്ചന ഗൗരംഗി രാധേ വൃന്ദാവനേശ്വരി വൃസാനുസുതേ ദേവി പ്രണമാമി ഹരിപ്രിയെ വഞ്ചാകൽപതരൂപ്യശ്ച കൃപാ സിന്ധൂപ്യേ വച പതിതാനം പാവനേപ്യോ വൈഷ്ണവേപ്യോ നമോ നമഃ നമാം വിഷ്ണുപദായ കൃഷ്ണപ്രിസ്ഥായ ഭൂതലെ ശ്രീമതെ ഭക്തിവേദാന്ത സ്വാമി നിതിനാമിനെ നമസ്തേ സരസ്വതെ ദേവേ ഗൗരവാണി പ്രചാരിണെ നിർവിശേഷ ശൂന്യവാരി പാശ്യത്തരശതാരിണെ ജയ ശ്രീകൃഷ്ണ ചൈതന്യ പ്രഭു നിത്യാനന്ദ ശ്രീ അദ്വൈത ഗദാദാർ ശ്രീവാസ ഹരി ഗൗരഭക്തവൃന്ദ ഹരേ കൃഷ്ണ ഹരേ കൃഷ്ണ 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 ഹരേ 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 രാമ ഹരേ രാമ 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 ഹരേ ഹരേ ഹിയർക്ക് <laughs> Oh, these dogs are so much here. Hmm. Okay. It's not too um, much, th- though, so you can read. Okay, bro. Thank you so much, bro. Uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam, it is stated the Rasa dance took place on the full moon night of the uh, Sarath season. From the statement of previous ch- chapters, it appears uh, that the festival of govardhana puja was performed uh, just after the dark moon night of the month of kartika and thereafter the ceremony of uh, bharat um, bharat bharatra dvitya was performed then the work of indra was uh, exhibited in the shape of uh, tolerance of rain and uh, hills held from and lord krishna helped sorry held up govardhana hill for 7 days up until the 9th day of the held up govardhana hill for 7 days up until the 9th day of the moon uh, after uh, uh, sorry there after on the 10th day the inhabitants of vrindavana were talking uh, among themselves among uh, about the wonderful activities of krishna and the next day uh, ekadashi was observed by nanda maharaj on the next day dwadashi nanda dwadashi nanda maharaj went to take take a bath in the ganges and went sorry and was arrested by the men of varuna then he was released by lord krishna then uh, lord uh, maharaja nanda maharaja along with the covered men was uh, shown the spiritual sky in this way the full moon night of uh, sarath season came, uh, came to an end the full moon day, night of uh, Ashwin Ashwina is called uh, Shraddha Purnima Shraddha Purnima it appears from the uh, statement of uh, Shri Mad Bhagavatam that Krishna had to wait another year for such a moon before uh, enjoying the rasa dance with the gopis at the uh, age of 7 uh, years he lifted govardhana hill therefore, therefore uh, the rasa dance took place uh, during his night 8th year from uh, vedic uh, literature it appears that when uh, a uh, critical actor dance uh, dances among a many dancing girls and uh, dancing girls the group dance is called ra- group dance is called a rasa dance when krishna saw the full moon day full moon night of the uh, 
uh, Sarath season, he decorated uh, himself with various uh, sensual flowers, especially the ma Malika flower, Malika, Malika flower, uh, which are very fragrant. He uh, re remembered the Gopis prayers to the goddess uh, Katyayani, wherein the, they prayed for Krishna to be their husband. He thought that uh, the full night of the Shrat season uh, was just suitable for a nice dance. So um, their uh, desire to have uh, Krishna as their husband would then would then be fulfilled. The words used in this connection in Srimad Bhagavatam are um, Bhagavan Api. This uh, means that although Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he has no desire that needs to be fulfilled because he is always uh, full with six opulence. Yet he wanted to enjoy the company of the gopis. So Bhagavan Api signifies that this is not like the ordinary dancing of young boys and girls. Young boys and young girls. The specific uh, word used in the Srimad Bhagavatam is yoga, yoga mayam uh, upad Upashritha, which means that this dancing with a gopis in, is on the platform of Yoga Maya, not Mahamaya. The dancing of your young boys and the girls within the, this material world is in the kingdom of your Mahamaya or the eternal ex energy, external, sorry, external energy. The dan rasa dance of Krishna with the gopis uh, is on the platform of Yoga Maya. The difference between the platform of Yoga Maya and Mahamaya compared in the Chaitanya Chaitamrita to the difference between gold and iron. From the viewpoint of metallurgy, 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 uh, like and gold, gold and iron are both metals, but the quality is completely, uh, completely different. Similarly, uh, although the Rasa dance and uh, Lord Krishna's association with the gopis appear like the ordinary mixing of young boys and girls, the quality is uh, completely different. The difference is ap appreciated well. Great Vaishnava because they can uh, understand the difference between love of Krishna and lust. On the Mahamaya platform, dances uh, dance uh, dances take place on the basis of sense gratification. But when Krishna called the gopis uh, by sounding his flute, the gopis very uh, hurriedly uh, rushed towards a spot of rasa dance with the uh, transcendental desire of satisfying Krishna. The author of Chaitanya Charitam Prata Krishna Das Sakaviraj Goswami has explained that lust means sense gratification and love also means sense gratification. But for Krishna, in other words, when activities are enacted on the platform of personal sense gratification, they are called material activities. But when they are enacted for the satisfaction of Krishna, then they, they are spiritual activities. On the plat on any platform of Krishna activities, the, the principle of sense gratification is there. But on the on the spiritual platform, sense gratification is for the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna. Whereas on the material platform, it is for the performer. For example, on the material platform, when a servant, servant serves a master, he is not very, sorry, he is not trying to satisfy the sense of the master, but rather his own senses. The servant would not serve the master if the payment stopped. That means that the servant uh, engages himself in the service of the master just to satisfy his senses. On the spiritual ma uh, spiritual path from the uh, servitor of the Supreme Personality of Godhead serves uh, Krishna without the payment. And he continues his service in all conditions. That is the difference between Krishna consciousness and material consciousness. It appears that uh, Krishna enjoyed the rasa dance with the gopis when he was eight uh, year old. At that time, many many of the gopis were married because uh, in, in India, especially in those days, the girls were married at a very early age. There are many, sorry, there are even uh, many uh, instances of a girl giving birth to a child at the age of 12. Under the circumferences, all the, the gopis who wanted to have Krishna as, as their husband were already married. At the same time, they continued to hope that Krishna would be their uh, husband. Their attitude toward Krishna was that of uh, paramour love. Therefore, the loving uh, loving affairs of Krishna with the gopis is called uh, parikya rasa, para, parakya rasa, parakya rasa. A married man or a wife uh, who desires another wife or husband is called para, parakya rasa. Actually, Krishna is the uh, husband of uh, 
uh, everyone because he is the supreme enjoyer there gopis wanted krishna to be their husband but actually there was no possibility of his marrying all the gopis but uh, because they had that uh, natural tendency to accept krishna as their supreme uh, husband the relation relationship between the gopis and krishna is called parakya rasa now the this uh, parakya rasa he is uh, ever exi- existent in goloka vrindavana in the spiritual sky where there is no possibility of the in 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 ebbi in every t in every t which uh, criticize uh, characterizes uh, parakya rasa in the material world in the material world in the material world uh, parakya rasa is abominable whereas in the spiritual world it is present in the super excellent relationship of uh, krishna and the gopis there are many other relationship of the krishna and the gopis there are many other uh, relationship with krishna but master uh, sorry sorry master and uh, servant friends and friends and friend uh, parent and son and lover and beloved out of uh, all these rasas the parakya rasa is considered to be the topmost this material world is the pervaded reflection of the spiritual world it just it, it is just like the like the reflection of a tree on a bank of a reservoir of water the topmost part of the tree is seen as the lowest part similarly parakya rasa when pervadedly reflected in this material world is abominable when people therefore imitate the rasa dance rasa dance of uh, krishna with the gopis they simply enjoy the pervaded abominable uh, reflection of the transcendental parakya rasa the, the, there are, there is no possibility of uh, um enjoying the transcendental parakya rasa within the material world it is uh, stated in the shrimad bhagavatam that one should not imitate the uh, imitate this parakya rasa even in uh, dream or imagination those who do not do so drink the uh, most uh, de- deadly poison when krishna the supreme enjoyer desired to enjoy the company of gopis on the t- full moon night of the, uh, of the uh, sarat season ex- exactly at that very moment the moon the lord of the stars appeared in the sky displaying its beaut- most beautiful features the moon the full moon uh, night of the sarat uh, sarat 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 season is the most uh, beautiful night in the uh, in the year in india there is a great mo- moment m- monument called uh, taj mahal in uh, agra a city in the uttar pradesh provinces and the uh, tomb is made of first class marble stone during the night of the full moon of the sarat season sarat season many foreigners go to see the beautiful reflection of the moon on the uh, tomb uh, those this full moon night is celebrated uh, even today for for its beautiful beauty prabhu what was the sarad season i forgot like i also no idea to like i will go to maybe maybe uh, you can google that so we 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 can get one yes prabhu prabhu i think it's like... the full moon in the ashvina but i don't know what is ashvina either sarad season is like when we perform homage to our ancestors oh oh okay 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 uh, shrad okay 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 oh it's uh, it's autumn autumn one okay autumn one Mm. Okay, bro. Uh, when the full moon uh, rose in the east, it uh, tinged everything with a reddish color with the rising of the moon. The whole sky appeared smear, uh, smeared by red, uh, kun- kuma, red kunkuma. When a, uh, when a husband uh, long separated, sorry, separated from his wife, returns home, he decorates the face of his wife. wife with the red kumkuma this long expected uh, moonrise of the sarat season was those uh, smearing the uh, eastern sky the, the appearance of the moon increased krishna's desire to uh, dance with the gopis the forest were filled with uh, pregnant flowers of what atmosphere uh, was uh, cooling and fresh uh, fresh uh, when uh, lord krishna began to flow uh, blow his flute 
uh, the gopis all over vrindavan became enchanted their attraction to the vibration attraction to the vibration of the flute increased a thousand times due to the rising uh, full moon the red uh, horizon the calm, calm and uh, cool atmosphere and uh, uh, blossoming uh, sorry blows blossoming flowers all these gopis were by nature very much attracted to krishna's beauty and when they heard the heard the vibration of flute of his flute they became apparently lustful to uh, satisfy the senses of krishna immediately upon hearing the vibration of the flute they all uh, left their represent respective engagements the and uh, proceeded to the spot where krishna was uh, standing well they ran very swiftly all their uh, earrings sw- swing back and forth they all rushed toward the place known as v- vamshivata of uh, some of them were engaged in milking cows but they left their milking business of finished and immediately went to krishna w- one of the one of them had just uh, collected collected milk and put in put it in a milk pan on the own own to boil but she did not care whether the milk over boiled and spilled uh, the she sorry she immediately left to go see krishna some of them were breast uh, feeding their small babies and some were engaged in distributing food to the members of their families but they left all such engagements and immediately rushed towards the spot where krishna was playing its flute some were engaged in serving their husbands and some were themselves engaged in eating but neither uh, caring to serve their husbands nor nor wait they immediately left some of them wanted to decorate their faces with cosmic uh, cosmic uh, co- cosmetic uh, ornaments and to dress themselves very nicely before going to krishna but unfortunately they could not finish their uh, cos- cosmetic cosmetic uh, decorations not nor put on their dresses in the right way because of their uh, anxiety to meet uh, krishna immediately their faces were decorated hurriedly and were haphazardly hap- hap- finished some even put the lower part of their dress on the upper part of the bodies and the upper part of upper part on the lower part well all the gopis were hurriedly leaving uh, their respective places their husbands brothers and fathers were all struck with wonder to know where they were they were going being uh, young girls they were protected neither by husbands the elder elderly brothers or fathers all their uh, guardians uh, forbid forbade them to go to krishna but they dis- disregarded them when a person becomes uh, attracted by krishna and he is in full krishna consciousness he does, he does not carry for uh, any worldly duties even though very urgent uh, krishna consciousness is so powerful that it gives everyone relief from all material activities shri rupa goswami has written a very nice verse wherein one gopi addresses sorry advises another my dear friend if you decide to enjoy the company of material society friendship and love then please do not go go to see this smiling a uh, smiling boy govinda who is standing on the bank of the yamuna and playing his flute he his lips are brightened by the bima bima bimas of the full moonlight shila rupa goswami brightened by sorry so indirectly instructs that one who has been captivated by the beautiful a uh, smiling face of the krishna has go, lost all attraction for material enjoyments this is the test of advancement in krishna consciousness eh? person and advancing in krishna consciousness must uh, lose interest in the material activities and uh, personal sense gratification some of the uh, gopis were factually uh, detained uh, from uh, going to krishna by their husbands and they were locked up by force within their rooms um, rooms being unable to go to krishna they began to meditate upon his transcendental form by closing close closing their eyes they uh, already had the form of krishna within their minds Uh, they provide to be the greatest uh, yogis as it is stated in bhagavad gita a person who is constantly thinking of krishna within his heart with faith and love is considered to be the 
topmost of all yogis. Actually, a yogi con- uh, concentrate his mind on the pa- form of Lord Sri Vishnu. That is real yoga. Krishna is the original form of all Vishnu tattvas. The gopis could not uh, go to go to Krishna personally, so they uh, began to meditate on him as perfect yogis in the med- conditioned. Condition the stage of the living entities. There are two kinds of uh, results of fruitive activities. The conditioned living entity who is constantly engaged in sinful activities has suffering as his result, and he who is engaged in pious activities has uh, material uh, enjoyment has the result. In uh, neither case, material suffering or material enjoyment, the enjoyer or sufferer is conditioned by material nature. The gopis, uh, uh, sorry, gopi and uh, associates of Krishna who assembled in the place of place where Krishna is appearing or from different groups. Uh, most of the gopis are eternal com- com- compassions of Krishna. Uh, as stated in the Brahma Samhita, Ananda Chin Maya Rasa Paribha Vitabhi. Uh, in the material, sorry, in the spiritual world, the associates of Krishna, especially the gopis, are manifestation of the pleasure potency of Lord Krishna. Uh, they are expansions of Srimati Radharani, but when uh, Krishna exhibits his transcendental plus pastimes within the material world in some of the universes, uh, are not only the eternal associates of Krishna who come, but also those who are being uh, promoted to that uh, status. From this material world, the gopis who joined uh, Krishna's pastime within this material world were coming from the status of ordinary human beings. If they had been um, bounded by fruitive action, fruitive action, they were fully f- uh, freed from the reaction of karma by a constant uh, meditation on Krishna. There serve, uh, serve, 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 serve painful uh, year. Earrings caused by their not being able to see Krishna freed them from all sinful reactions and their ecstasy of transcendental love for Krishna. His uh, sorry, Krishna in his absence was uh, transcendental to all their reactions of uh, material pious activities. The conditioned soul is subjected to the birth and death neither by pious or sinful activities, but the gopis who who, were, who began to meditate on Krishna transcendent both. Uh, positions and became pu- purified and those elevated to the status of gopis already uh, expanded by his uh, pleasure potency. All the gopis who concentrated their mind on Krishna in the spirit of uh, paramore love become fully contamin- uh, uncontaminated uh, from all the fruitive acti- reactions of material nature and some of them uh, immediately gave up their material bodies, developed uh, under the three modes of material nature. Maharaj Parikshit heard uh, Sukadev Goswami explain the situation of gopis who assembled with Krishna in the Rasa dance. When he heard that some of the gopis simply by concentrating on Krishna has their paramore become freed uh, from all the contamination of material birth and death. He said the gopis did not know that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. They accepted him as a beautiful boy and considered him in uh, him to be their paramour. So how how was it possible for them to get freed from the material con- con- conditions just by thinking of a paramour? One should uh, consider um, here that Krishna and uh, ordinary living beings are uh, qualitatively one. The uh, ordinary uh, living beings being part and partial of Krishna are also Brahman. But uh, Krishna is the supreme uh, pra- Brahman. The Question is, if it is possible for devotees to get free, free from the material contam- material contaminated stage simply by thinking of Krishna, then why not uh, others who are also thinking of uh, someone? If one is thinking of a husband or son, or if uh, anyone uh, at all is uh, thinking of another living entity, since all the living entities are also Brahman, they, they, they why are they not all freed from material contaminated stage of uh, material nature this is very uh sorry sorry now if one is thinking of husband or a son no, no, thinking of another living entity mm, since all living entities are also brahman they then why are why are they not all freed from the contaminated stage of the material nature 
this is very intelligent question because the atheistic are always imitating krishna in these days of kali yuga there are many uh, rascals who think themselves to be the to be as great uh, as krishna and who cheat who cheat people into believing that uh, thinking of them is as good as thinking of lord krishna parikshit maharaj apparenting uh apparent apparenting the dangerous situation, condition of blind followers of demonic imitators therefore ask you this question and fortunately it is recorded in the shrimad bhagavatam to warn uh, innocent uh, people that uh, thinking of an ordinary man and thinking of krishna are not the same actually even thinking of the demigods cannot be compared with uh, thinking of krishna it is also warned in vaishnava uh, tantra that one who puts uh, Vaish- vishnu narayana or krishna on the same level of the demigods is called pasanda pasanda or uh, a rascal on hearing this question of Ma- maharaj parikshit sukadev goswami replied my dear king your question is already answered even before this incident uh, incident uh, because uh, parikshit maharaj wanted to clear up the uh, situation his spiritual master answered him very intelligently why are you again uh, asking the same subject matter which which has already been explained to you why are you so forgetful uh, a spiritual master is always in the superior position so he has the right to chastise his disciple in this way sukadev goswami knew that maharaj parikshit asked the question not for his own uh, understanding but a, but has a warning to the future innocent people who may think others to be equal to krishna so gadev goswami then reminded parikshit maharaj about the salvation of shishupala shishupala was also, was always envious of krishna and because of, uh, because of his envy krishna killed him uh, since krishna is the supreme personality of god so shishupala gained uh, gained uh, salvation simply by seeing him if he, if an uh, in, envious person can uh, get salvation simply by and uh, concentrating his mind on krishna then why what to speak of gopis who are so dear to krishna and always thinking of him in love there must be uh, there must be some uh, sorry there must be some difference between the enemies and the friends if krishna's enemy could get freed from material contamination and become one with the supreme then certainly his dear, dear friends like the gopis are freed for, freed and with him uh be besides that uh, in the bhakti uh, bhagavad gita krishna is called rishikesh sukadev goswami is also said that krishna is rishikesh the super soul whereas ordinary man he is a conditioned soul covered by the material body krishna and krishna's body are the same because he is rishikesh any person take, making a um, making a dis- distinction between krishna and krishna's body he is a full number 1 krishna is rishikesh and adokshaja this two particular words have been uh, used by maharaj parikshit in in the in this uh, instance rishikesh is the super soul and adokshaja is the supreme personality of god a transcendental to the material nature just to show uh, favor to the ordinary living beings living entities out of his uh, causeless mercy he appears as he is unfortunately foolish persons may uh, mistake him to be a, uh, another ordinary person and so they become uh, eligible to go to hell Uh, sukadev goswami confirmed that krishna is the supreme person of god imperishable uh, immeasurable immer- and free from all contamination material contamination sukadev goswami continued to inform uh, maharaj parikshit that krishna is then no is a not an ordinary person he is the supreme person of god full of the uh, spiritual qualities he appears in this material world out of his causes mercy and whenever he appears he appears as his as he without change this is also confirmed in bhagavad gita there there are the there the lord says that he prabhu can uh, i also read ah uh, please prabhu please continue yes yes prabhu thank you vivek hari prabhu hari krishna 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 sorry prabhu i didn't give it to you chance so sorry which one of this ah, is there many it seems like there is 10 pranjal prabhus and spotify ki jai cuz i see hari krishna prabhu spotify and there is eyes 
I think pra Pranjal Prabhu has multiplied to four personalities. <laughs> it's an expansion. <laughs> yes, bro, this is new. But I think he's using Hare Krishna and Spotify only. Yes, Maybe. And, and and the eyes. That's definitely Pranjal. And Banasura, it could be also Pranjal Prabhu. <laughs> Do you think so? <laughs> Maybe he can comment with all if it's him. So, yes. nah, I don't think Banasura is... Hmm. Oh, can I start? Yes, bro. He appears in his spiritual potency. He does not appear under the control of this material potency. This material potency is under his control. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is stated that the material potency is working under his superintendency. It is also confirmed in the Bhag Brahma Samhita that the material potency known as Durga is acting just as a shadow which moves with the movement of the substance. The conclusion is that if one somehow or other becomes attached to Krishna or, at or attracted to him, either because of his beauty, quality, opulence, fame, strength, renunciation or knowledge, or even through lust, anger. Okay, Prabhu, the first here, ne? fame, strength, renunciation, that is Bhagavan, ne? Hey, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Oh. oh, even through lust, anger, fear, or affection, or friendship, then one's salvation and freedom from material contamination is assured in the Bhagavad Gita. 18th chapter, the Lord also states that one who is engaged in preaching Krishna consciousness is very dear to him. A preacher has to face many difficulties in his struggle to preach pure Krishna consciousness. Sometimes he has to suffer bodily injuries, and sometimes he has to meet death also. All this is taken as a great austerity on behalf of Krishna. Krishna, therefore, he has said that such a preacher is very, very dear to him. Very dear to him. If Krishna, Krishna's enemies can expect salvation, simply by concentrating their minds on him, then what to speak of persons who are so dear to Krishna? The conclusion should be that the salvation of those who are engaged in preaching Krishna consciousness in the, in the world is guaranteed in all circumstances, but such preachers never care for salvation because factually one who is engaged in Krishna consciousness devotional service has already achieved salvation. Sukadev Goswami therefore assured where am I now? Okay, Sukadev Goswami. I lost my place now. Hmm. Oh, Sukadev Goswami therefore assured King Parikshit that he should always rest assured that one attract, attracted by Krishna attains liberation from material bondage because Krishna is the transcendental master of all mystic power. When all the gopis assembled as described before Krishna, he began to speak to them, welcoming them as well as discouraging them. By word jugglery, Krishna is the supreme speaker. He is the speaker of the Bhagavad Gita. He can speak on the highest elevated subject of philosophy politics, economics, everything. And he also spoke before the gopis who were so dear to him. He wanted to enchant them by word jugglery. And thus he began to speak as follows. Oh, ladies of Vrindavan, Krishna said, you are very fortunate and... I can go down, Prabhu. And you are very dear to me. I am very pleased that you have to come here and I hope everything is well in Vrindavan. Now, please order me, what can I do for you? What is the purpose of coming here in this in this dead of night? Kindly take your seats and let me know what I can do for you. The gopis had to come to enjoy his company. Oh, the gopis had come to Krishna to enjoy his company, to dance with him. Embrace him and kiss him. And when Krishna began to receive them, very officially showing all kinds of etiquette, they were surprised he was treating them as ordinary society women. Therefore, they began to smile among themselves and they were eagerly listened. They, they very eagerly listened to Krishna talk in that way. When he saw that they were smiling at him, he said, My dear friends, you must know now that 
it is the dead of night and the forest is very dangerous at this time. All the ferocious jungle animals and the tigers, bears, jackals, jackals and wolves are prowling in the forest. Therefore, it is very dangerous for you. You cannot select a secure place now. Everywhere you go, you will find that all these animals are loitering to find their prey. I think, therefore, that you are taking a great risk in coming here in the dead of night. Please turn back immediately without delay. When he saw that they continued to smile, he said, I very much I very much appreciate your bodily features. All you have all of you have nice, very thin waist. Um all of the gopis they were they were ex exquisitely beautiful. They are they described by the word some Sumadayam, Sumadayam, the standard of beauty of a woman, it is said to be suma, Sumadayam. When the middle portion of the body is slender, Krishna wanted to impress on them that they were not old enough to take care of themselves. Actually, <clears throat> okay, I'm just waiting for the message to come Okay, Krishna wanted to impress them and that they were not only enough to talk to take care of themselves. Actually, they required protection. It was not very wise for them to come in the dead of night to Krishna. Krishna also indicated that he was young. He was young and that they were young girls. It does not look very well for young girls and boys to remain together in the dead of night. After hearing this advice, the gopis did not seem very happy. Therefore, Krishna began to stress the point in a different way. My dear friends, I can understand that you have left your homes without the permission of your guardians. Therefore, I think your mothers, your fathers, your elderly brothers, or even your sons and and what to speak of your husbands must be very anxious to find you. As long as you are here, they must be searching in different places and their minds must be very agitated. So don't don't tarry. Please go back and make them peaceful. When the gopis appear to to be a little bit disturbed and angry from their to be a little bit angry from the free advice of Krishna, they diverted their attention to looking at the beauty of the forest. At the time, the whole forest was illuminated by the bright shining of the moon, and the air was blowing very silently over the blooming flowers, and the green leaves of the of the trees were moving in the breeze. Krishna took the opportunity of their looking at the forest to advise them, I think you have to come out to see this beautiful Vrindavan forest on the on this night he said but you must now be satisfied so return to your homes without delay i understand that you are all very just just women so now that you have seen this beautiful atmosphere of the vrindavan forest please return home and engage in the faithful service of your respective husbands some of you must have babies by this time although you are very young you you must have left your small babies at home and they must be crying. Please immediately go back home and just feed them with your breast milk. I can also understand that you have very great affection for me and out of the transcendental affection you have come here hearing my playing, my playing on the flute. Your feelings of love and affection for me are very appropriate because I am the Supreme Personality of Godhead. All living creatures are my parts and parcels and naturally they are affectionate to me. So this affection for me is very much welcome and I congratulate you for this. Now you can go back to your homes. Another thing I must explain to you is that for a chaste woman, service to the husband without duplicity, it is the best religious principle. A woman should should be not only faithful and chaste to the husband, but affectionate to the friend of her husband, obedient to the father and mother of the husband, and affectionate to the younger brothers of the husband. And most importantly, the woman must take care of the children. In this way, Krishna explained the duties of a woman. He also stressed the point of saving the husband, even if he is not of very good character or even if he is not very rich or fortunate, or even if he is old or invalid on account of continued disease, whatever he, her husband's conditions, a woman should not divorce her husband if she actually de desires to be elevated to the higher planetary systems after leaving this body. Besides that, it is considered abnormal in society if a woman is unfaithful and goes searching for another man. Such habits will deter...
deter a woman from being elevated to the heavenly planets. And the results of such habits are very degrading. Very degrading. A married woman should not search for a paramour, for this is not sanctioned sanctioned by the Vedic principles of life. If you think that you are very much attracted to me and you want my association, I advise you to I advise you not to personally try to enjoy me. It is better for you to go home, simply talk about me, think of me, and by this process of, of constantly remembering me and chanting my names, you will surely be elevated to the spiritual platforms. There is no need to stand near me. Please go back home. The instruction given herein by the Supreme Personality of Godhead <laughs> go back home. Godhead to the gopis. But was not at all sacred, eh? Sacra, what is that word? Sarcastic, sarcastic, sarcastic. Such instructions should be taken very seriously by all honest women. The chastity of women is specifically stressed herein by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore, this principle should be followed by any serious woman who wants to be elevated to a higher status of life. Krishna is the center of all affection for all living creatures. When this affection is developed for Krishna, then one... Yeah, you can go down, Prabhu. One surpasses and transcends all Vedic injunctions. This was possible for the gopis because they saw Krishna face to face. This is not possible for any woman in the conditioned state. Unfortunately, by imitating the behavior of Krishna with the gopis, sometimes a rascal takes the, the position of Krishna following the philosophy of monism or oneness and he very really he very irresponsibly takes advantage of this rasalila to entice many innocent women and and mislead them in the name of spiritual realization. As a warning, Lord Krishna has herein hinted that what was possible for the gopis, it is not possible for ordinary women. Although a woman can actually be elevated by advanced Krishna consciousness, she should not be enticed by an imposter who says that he is Krishna. She should concentrate her devotional service devotional activities in chanting and meditating upon Krishna. As is advised herein, one should not follow them. Men called Sahajaya, Sahajaya, or is it Sahajaya? The so-called devotees who take everything very lightly. When Krishna spoke in such a discouraging way to the gopis, they became very sad, for they thought that their desire to enjoy rasa dance with Krishna would be frustrated. Thus they became full of anxiety. Out of the great sadness, the gopis began to breathe very heavily instead of looking at Krishna's face to face. Yeah, at Krishna face to face. They bowed their heads and looked to the ground and they began to draw various types of curved lines on the ground. They, where the toes, they were shedding heavy tears and the cos cosmetic decorations were being washed from their face. The water from the eyes mixed with the kunkuma of the breast and fell to the ground. They could not say anything to Krishna, but simply stood there silently. By their silence, they expressed that the hearts were gr grievously wounded grievously wounded the gopis were not ordinary women in a sense they were on an equal level with krishna they are his eternal associates at as it is confirmed in the brahma samhita they are expansions of the pleasures potency of krishna and as his potency they are non-different from him although they were Although they were depressed by the word of Krishna, they did not like to use harsh words against him. Yet they wanted to rebuke Krishna for his unkind words. And therefore they began to speak in flattering voice. They did not like to use harsh words against against Krishna because he was he was the the dear most the yeah. He was their dear most, their heart and soul. The gopis had only Krishna within their hearts. They were completely surrendered and dedicated souls. Naturally, when they heard such unkind words, they tried to reply. But in the attempt torrent 
of tears fell from their eyes. Finally, they managed to speak. Krishna, they say, you are very cruel. You should not talk like that. We are full-fledged, surrendered souls. Please accept us and don't talk in that cruel way. Of course, you are the supreme personality of Godhead. <laughs> Prabhu, now I understand why Vivek Prabhu does not want to stop reading. Eh? The energy it has. <laughs> no, Prabhu, I am an actor. Uh, like I was like if I if I start I will not like that why it is happening. Oh yes yes so. Prabhu. <laughs> oh and I see ten people joined, but it's Pranjal five it's Pranjal here. Yeah. <laughs> yes Prabhu. I think it's Pranjal Prabhu multiplying. Yeah, who's Prasadam? You see, there's I saw Prasadam Prabhu. That is definitely Pranjal. Yes, he has even some prasadam as picture. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I can continue. Eh? Yes, Prabhu. Uh, okay, let me oh, just... Bhaktajat Prabhu, Bhaktajat Prabhu came. Hare Krishna, oh. Bhaktajat Prabhu. Oh, Bhaktajat Prabhu, please sit down. I'm going to make this all glory to Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, Jai Divoti, please accept it. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Jai Prabhu, Dandas. Bhaktajat Prabhu, Dandas. Prabhu. Haribo. We have Prashadam Prabhu with us. Is this an initiated name or something? <laughs> yes, Prabhu, I think. Prashadam Prabhu Kijai. Yeah. <laughs> Kijai. There was Spotify and I said Spotify Kijai. Hey? <laughs> Haribo. 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 You can continue, please. Yes, yes. Hare Krishna to everyone. Hare Bol Jai. <laughs> and you can do whatever you like. Okay, and you can do whatever you like. But it is not worth of your position to treat us in such a cruel way. We have to come. We have to come to you, leaving everything behind. These are the gopis telling Krishna, ne Prabhu? Yes, Prabhu. Krishna says, <laughs> <They're angry>. go <laughs> home. Oh yes, <laughs> they want the energy. Yes, Prabhu. Okay. You are leaving everything, okay, let me start here, to treat us in such a cruel way. We have to come to you, leaving everything behind, just to take shelter of your lotus feet. We know that you are completely independent and can do whatever you like, but we request you don't reject us. We are your devotees. You should accept us as Lord Narayan accepts his devotees. There are many devotees of Lord Narayan who worship him for salvation, and he awards them salvation. Similarly, hmm? Oh, similarly, how can you reject us when we have no other shelter than your lotus feet? Oh, dear Krishna, they continued. You are the supreme instructor. There is no doubt about it. Your instructions to the women to be faithful to their husbands and to to be merciful to their children, to take care of homely affairs and to be obedient to the elderly members of the family are surely just according to the tenets of Shastras. But who know also that, but we know also that all these instructions of the Shastras may be observed perfectly by keeping oneself under the protection of your lotus feet. Our husband, friends, family members and children are all dear and pleasing to us. Only because of your presence, for you are the su super soul of all living creatures. Without your presence, one is worthless. When you leave the body, the body immediately dies. And according to the injunctions of the Shastras, a dead body must immediately be thrown in a river or burn burned there. Therefore, ultimately, you are the dear most personality in this world. By placing our faith and love in your personality, there is no chance of, of our being Bereft, is it bereft? Bereft of has bereft. Yes. Of husband, friends, sons, or daughters. If a woman accepts you as as the supreme husband, then she will never be bereft, or her husband as in the bodily concept of life. If we accept you as our ultimate husband, then there is no question of being separated, divorced, or widowed. Mm. You are the eternal husband, eternal son, eternal friend, and eternal master. And one who enters into a relationship with you is eternally happy. Since you are the teacher of all religious principles, your lotus feet first have to be worshipped. According, 
according to according the yeah, accordingly worshipped accordingly the shasta states ara acharya upasana the worship of the worship of the lotus feet is the first principle besides that as stated in the bhagavad gita you are the only enjoyer you are the only proprietor and you are the the only friend as such we have to come to you living aside also called friend society and and love and now you have become our enjoyer and prabhu that that is that was actually confusing me when when lord krishna said they must go back to their husband but then in the bhagavad gita he, he, i think he says something like you can quit like your family your what like let's take for a concept of sanyasi yes prabhu but imagine you have to sur surrender everything and when you go to krishna he will say to you oh, go home <laughs> <laughs> I see why they were angry. <laughs> you are the only friend such okay let me study you are the only friend as such we have come to you living aside all so called friendly society and love and now you have become our enjoyer let us be everlastingly enjoyed by you by our proprietor for that is your natural claim and be our supreme friend for you are naturally so let us thus embrace you as the supreme beloved beloved then the gopis told the lotus eyed krishna please do not discourage our long cherished desire to have you as our husband any intelligent man who cares for his for his own self interest reposes reposes eh? reposes or reposes reposes all his loving spirit in you persons who are simply misled by the eternal okay it, eternal energy who want to be satisfied by false concepts try to enjoy themselves apart from you the so called husband friend son daughter or father and mother are all simply source of material misery no one is made happy in this material world by having a so called father mother husband son daughter and friend although the father and mother are expected to protect their children there are many children who are suffering from one for want of food and shelter there are many good physicians yeah yeah physicians but when a patient dies no no physician can revive him there are many means of protection but when one is doomed none of the protective measures can help and without your protection the so called sources of protection simply become sources of continued distress we therefore appeal to you dear lord of all lords please do not kill our long cherished desire to have you as our supreme husband dear krishna as women we are certainly satisfied when our hearts are engaged in the activities of family affairs but our hearts have already been stolen by you we can no longer engage them in family affairs besides that you are asking us repeatedly to return home and that is a very appropriate instruction but unfortunately we have been stunned here stand here okay wait okay stand here our legs have no power to move a step from your lotus feet therefore if even at your request we return home what shall we do there <laughs> we have lost our we have lost all our capacity to act without you instead of engaging our hearts in family affairs as women we have now developed a different type of lust which is continually blazing in our hearts now we request you dear krishna dear krishna to extinguish that fire with your beautiful smile and the transcendental vibration emanating from your lips if you do not agree to this to us this favor we shall certainly be burned in the fire of separation in that condition we shall simply think of you and your beautiful features and give up give up our bodies immediately in that way we think it will be possible for us to <laughs> reside at your lotus feet in the next life dear krishna if you say that if we go home our respective husbands will satisfy the last lasty flame of our desire we can only say that the we can only say that that is no longer possible now i remember you remember a statement semi prabhu that says uh, the pure devotees control me yes prabhu yeah now i can see from the gopis <laughs> possible you 
you have given us a chance to be enjoyed by you in the for in the forest and have touched our breast once in the past, which we accept as a blessing as did the goddesses of fortune. Is it the goddess or goddesses of fortune <clears throat> who are enjoyed in the Vaikunta locus by you since we have tasted the this transcendental enjoyment we are no longer interested in going to anyone but you for the satisfaction of our last dear krishna the lotus feet of the goddess of fortune are always worshipped by the demigods although she is always resting on your chest in the i think i'm going to read krishna book prabhu it's very powerful People. Oh, very good job, planet. She she underwent great austerity and penances. Is it penances to have some shelter at your lotus feet, which are always co covered by two loosey leaves. Your lotus feet are the proper shelter of your saviators and the goddess of fortune. Instead of abiding on your chest, comes down and worship worships your lotus feet. We have now placed ourselves under the dust of your lotus feet. Please do not reject us, for we are fully surrendered souls. Dear Krishna, you are known as Hari. You destroy all the miseries of all living entities, specifically of those who have left their homes and family attachment and have completely taken to you. We have left our homes <laughs> with the hope that we shall completely devote devote and dedicate our, our lives to your service. We are simply begging to... To be engaged as your servants, we do not wish to ask you to accept us as your wives. Simply accept us as your maid servants, since you are the supreme personality of Godhead and like to enjoy the pa parakia parakia rasa. Is it parakia rasa? And and are famous as a transcendental woman, woman hunter. We have we have come to satisfy. We have come to satisfy your transcendental desire. We are also after our own satisfaction. For simply by looking at your smiling face, we have become very lusty. We have come before you, you decor, hmm, decorated with all ornaments and dress. But until you embrace us, all our dresses and beautiful beautiful features remain incomplete. You are the supreme person. And if you complete our dressing attempt, as the Purusha Busana, Busana, or the male or ornament, yeah, ornament. Then all our desires and bodily decora decorations are complete. Dear Krishna, we have simply been captivated by seeing you with til tilak tilaka, is it tilaka, and with ear earrings, and by uh, by seeing your beautiful face covered with scattered. Hair and your extraordinary smile. Not only that, but we are also attracted by your arms, which always give assurance to the surrendered souls. And although we are also attracted by your chest, which is always embraced by the goddess of fortune, we do not wish to take her position. We shall we shall simply be satisfied by being your maid servant. If you, however, accuse us of encouraging prostitution in. <laughs> then we can only ask where is that woman because both men and women belong to the marginal potency of parikshit no one is actually the enjoyer or the male everyone is meant to be enjoyed by you there is no woman within these three worlds who cannot be deviate from Oh, we cannot but deviate from the her path of chastity. Once she is attracted to you, before your beauty is is so sublime that not only men and women but cows, birds, beasts, is it beasts, and even trees, fruits and flowers, everyone and everything become enchanted. And what to speak of ourselves? It is, however, defin definitely decided that as Lord Vishnu is all, always protecting the demigods. I'm starting to mix words. It's this ecstasy, Prabhu. <laughs> From the onslaught 
of demons. So you have also ad have adverted the in Vrindavan just to give the residents protection from all kinds of distress. Oh, dear friend of the distressed, kindly place your hand on our burning breast as well as on our heads, because we have surrendered unto you as your eternal maid servants. If you think, however, that your lotus-like palms might be burned to ashes, if we placed on on our burning breast, let us assure you that your palms will feel pleasure instead of pain, as the lotus flower, although very delicate and soft, enjoys the scorching heat of the sun. Upon hearing the anxious plea of the gopis, the Supreme Personality of Godhead began to smile and being very kind to the gopis. The Lord, although self-sufficient began to embrace them and kiss them as they desired when krishna smiling looked at the faces of the gopis the beauty of their faces became a hundred times enhanced when he was enjoying them in the midst he appeared just like the full moon surrounded by millions of shining stars thus the supreme personality of godhead surrounded by hundreds of gopis and decorated with a flower garland of many colors be began to wander within the Vrindavan forest, sometimes singing to himself and sometimes singing with the gopis. In this way, both the Lord and the gopis reached the cool sandy bank of the Yamuna, where the where there were li eh? lilies and lotus flowers. Is it lilies or li uh, lilies? And lotus flowers. In such a transcendental atmosphere, both the gopis and Krishna began to enjoy one another while they were walking on the bank of the Yamuna. Krishna would sometimes put his arms around a gopi's head, breast or waist, pinching one another and joking, joking and looking at one another. They enjoyed when Krishna touched the bodies of the gopis. Then their lust to embrace him increased. They all enjoyed these pastimes. Thus, the gopis were blessed with the all mercy. Hmm? The gopis, the last became. Whoa, did I skip a line? The last to embrace him in Greece, they all enjoyed these pastimes. Thus, the gopis were blessed with the all mercy by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. For they enjoyed his company without a tinge of mundane sex life. The gopis, however, soon began to feel very proud, thinking themselves to be the most fortunate women in the universe by being favored by the company of Krishna. Lord Krishna, who is known as Keshava, could immediately understand the pride caused by the great fortune of enjoying him personally. And in order to show them his causeless mercy and to curb their false pride, he immediately disappeared from the scene. <laughs> <laughs> exhibiting his opulence of re renunciation. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is always full with six kinds of opulences. And this is an instance, this is an instance of the opulence of renunciation. This renunciation confirms Krishna's total non-attachment. He is always self-sufficient and is sufficient and is not dependent on anything. This is the platform on which the transcendental pastimes are enacted. Thus ends the Bhaktivedanta purport on the 20 of the 29th chapter of Krishna, the Rasa Dance Introduction. Ki jai. Jai, Hari Thank you so jai, much. Hari beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm, and it has a sense of I think I'm going to start reading it. Nice. It has this sense of great feeling. And someone said it. Now I can feel it. Haribo. Haribo. Yes, this is the first chapter. And next, Krishna hides from the gopis. <laughs> I love Krishna can play tricks, eh? Yes, Prabhu, he disappeared. Okay, now let's go to six Astagam prayers. Hmm. I think greater Banasura can start. Who's Banasura? Chito Darpanam Arjanam Bhavama Gavagni Nirvapanam Shiyasketam Kerva Chandrika Vitaranam Vityavadu Jivanam Anandam Budhivardhanam Patipadam 
ഉണ്ണാമതസ്മാദനം സർവത്തമസ്നം പരം വിജയത്തെ ശ്രീകൃഷ്ണ സങ്കീർത്തനം ജഗദീശ കാമയേ മമ ജന്മനി ജന്മനീശ്വരേ ഭക്തിരഹൈത്വയി ഐനന്ദം തനുജാക്കിൻകരം പതിതം മാം വിഷമേ ഭവം ബുധോ കൃപയാദപങ്കജ സ്ഥിതൂലി സദൃശം വിചിന്തയ ഏനം ഗലദുസുരുധാരയ വദനം ഗദ്ഗദാർ ഗിര ഉലക്കേർണിച്ചേനെ ഭവിഷ്യതി ുഗായിതം നിമേശേന ചക്ഷുഷാ പ്രാവിർഷായിതം ശൂന്യായിതം ജഗത്സർവം ഗോവിന്ദ വിരഹേ ശുരഗോസ്ലവാദാരിസ്ബനാസുരാ Oh Banasur is the talking pranjal Spotify is the silent pranjal Hare Krishna Prabhu is the commenting pranjal <laughs> Hmm where is the picture of Even the eyes huh? Uh, translation glory to the sri krishna sankirtan which cleanses the heart of all the dust accumulated for years and extinguishes the fire of conditional life of repeated birth and death the sankirtan movement is the prime benediction for humanity at large because it's benediction for for humanity at large because it spreads the rays of the benediction moon it is the life of all transcendental knowledge it increases the ocean of transcendental bliss and it enables us to fully taste the nectar for which we are always anxious oh my lord your holy name alone can render all benedictions to all living beings oh lord oh my lord your holy name alone can render all benedictions to living beings and thus you have hundreds and millions of names like krishna and govinda in these transcendental names you have invested all your transcendental energies they are not even hard and fast rules for chanting these names oh my lord out of kindness you enable us to easily approach you by your holy names but i am so unfortunate that i have no attraction for them when you chant the holy name of lord in a humble state of mind thinking oneself lower than a straw in a street one should be more tolerant than a tree devoid of all sense fault sense of false prestige and should be really to offer all respects to others in such a state of mind one can chant the holy name of lord constantly ribo ribo oh my lord oh, i have no desire please continue the holy okay oh my dear lord i have no desire to accumulate wealth nor do i desire beautiful women nor do i want any number of followers i only want your causeless devotional service breath after breath ോട്ടം 
Oh my Lord, when will my eyes be decorated with tears of love flowing constantly when I chant your holy name? When will my voice choke up and when will the hairs of my body stand on end at the recitation of your name? O oh Govinda, feeling your separations, I am considering a moment to be twelve, to be like twelve years or more. Tears are flowing from my eyes like torrents of rain, and I am feeling all weakened in the world of your, in your absence. I know no one but Krishna as my Lord, and He shall remain so even if He handles me roughly by His embrace or makes me broken hearted. By not being present before me, he is completely free to do anything and everything for he is always a worshipful Lord unconditionally. Hey, hey bo. Bo. Yeah. Yeah. First yeah. one, to mention the devotees who have dedicated their lives for propagating the holy name of the Lord. Hey, to consider the names of the demigods like Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma to be equal to or independent of the name of the Lord Vishnu. To disobey the orders of the spiritual master, consider him as an ordinary person. To bless him, the Vedic scriptures. You can continue, Prabhu. Okay, bro. To bless him, the Vedic scriptures or receive the perseverance in the Vedic version. And it's about the glories, imagination, something. To consider the glories of chanting Hare Krishna to be in imagination. To give some interpretation to the holy name of the Lord. Yeah, we can see it most probably. The activities on the strength of the holy name. To consider the chanting of Hare Krishna as one of the most auspicious ritualistic activities which are offered in the Vedas as fruitative action activities. Dharma Khanda. To give some hey, instruction. To instruct the faithless person about the glories of the holy name. Last one. To not have complete faith in the holy chanting of holy name and maintain and maintain material attachments even after understanding so many instructions on this matter. It is also an offense that when you enter into the chanting, every devotee tries to be Vaishnava must guard against offenses in order to quickly achieve the success of the Krishna Maribo. Thank you so much, Prabhu, for this wonderful Jai.